Hey, South Valley, I'm here now with Pastor John and Pastor Seth, and we wanted to take a moment to fill you in on some big news. As you know, Pastor John and Seth, they have served as pastors in this church for many years, and they've done an amazing, incredible job. John as a worship pastor, as an executive, executive pastor, my right-hand man, and uh, Seth in many different roles, teaching, small groups, tech, uh, a number of different things, next steps. And uh, we wanted to let you know that God has called them into a new season of life and of ministry. And so we know this is a huge announcement. It's beginning in the new year. And so we wanted you to hear from them personally. I'm going to start with Pastor Seth. He has some exciting news about a new job that he's taking on in Modesto, working with a GHC church, which is what we're also a part of at South Valley. So Seth, fill us in on that. Yeah, so back in March of this past year, um, I had been asked to go speak at this church, the Well Community Fellowship in Modesto. And um, I had never wanted to get into a senior pastor role before I wanted to do different pastoral roles, eventually go into teaching. And just instantly, there was something about this church. I remember texting a best friend of mine just saying, I think I want to be the senior pastor here. And uh, so I reached out. They didn't even have their pastoral search team ready yet. Once they did, I submitted a resume. It wasn't long after the second interview that uh, I got a call. They had unanimously decided they wanted to move forward with me. Um, I preached there, I believe it was on November 12th as uh, a candidating weekend. And again, it was another unanimous vote to go there. So, I mean, just doors have flown wide open for, for this to happen and uh, just trying to, to walk in obedience to God in this. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely excited about this opportunity. It's it's incredibly exciting to, to move into a senior pastor role, uh, but it's also bittersweet because South Valley has been home for, for a number of years. And, um, you know, I've loved these people. I've loved pastoring here. I've loved being on this team and uh, being a part of this season and, and watching things grow. So it's uh, it is bittersweet, you know. Um, I still have family here. I'll still be around uh, at times, but you know, my my family, immediate family, is moving to Modesto, and and we're getting ready for a new season uh, in in senior leadership, leading this church into the future. So you could be praying for Pastor Seth and his family. Uh, we've been praying for him through this process. He came forward and said, hey, I, I'm interested in this. We actually, you know, helped send him out there to do some candidating weekends. We knew this was a possibility, and we know it's exactly what God wants him to do. And so we're 100% behind him. We also want you to hear, though, from Pastor John uh, about some changes with his family and uh, his time here at South Valley as well. Hey, South Valley. Um after 18 years of being part of South Valley, uh, I feel that God is calling me to step away and resign from my position. And I spoke with Pastor Ricky in October about uh, being prayerful throughout this past season in my life and just really have felt God pressing on my heart that it's time to let go uh, and time to move on to what God has in store for me. And I'm, I'm stepping in faith and obedience. I feel that through prayer, uh, I have been dutiful and obedient in helping South Valley to transition into this new chapter. And uh, for now, uh, I'm gonna be continuing to teach music. Uh, I don't uh, have a calling anywhere else in regards to a, a church, uh, but I do feel that God is calling me uh, to be prayerful about this next chapter of what he has in store for me. I don't know what my future holds, but I do know who holds my future, and I praise God for that. And I just want to thank South Valley for uh, being part of what we've been able to do for the past 18 years, uh, just kingdom work and seeing lives changed and impacted uh, in this area. And I uh, just thank you for all your love and support. And my family uh, thanks you as well, and just uh, having my kids grow up and, and all the love that you've given to them. So I'm looking forward to what God is going to do. Uh, it is bittersweet, like Seth said, because uh, this has been our church home. And uh, for now, I'm stepping out in faith and obedience to see what God has and just appreciate your prayers as we step out in faith in this next step of our journey in life. Thank you, Pastor John. So we'll be filling you in more um, in the weeks ahead. Uh, but for you for now, on December 10th, we're going to have in the chapel between services a chance for you to spend some time with them, talk to them, thank them, um, and uh, we just want to honor them. We, the, these two have served this church so well. They've served me and my family so well. Um, I appreciate their friendship and I appreciate their love for Christ. And, and we know that God's going to do great things in the next chapter of our church, the next chapter of their lives. And so we want to send them off well. Uh, so if you would like to stick around on the 10th, Spend some time with them, 
uh, hear them, hear their story a little more, and then uh, we'll fill you in more in the weeks to come on what it means for the future of us and and uh, what might be happening uh, in the future with with different staff members and things like that potentially adding to our team. Those are all things that we're going to be praying through. So we love you, and uh, we'll keep you informed. And God bless. We'll stay in touch.